I've had it. I'm done. I'm sick of not being able to throw 500 feet. I'm sick of hitting trees. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my form. I'm going to put it in this nice little ball, throw it all away, and rebuild from scratch. That's going to fix everything, right? Right? Now, here's why. Stay tuned. At the end of this video, I have an update on my channel. I want you to do something real quick for me just to practice. Go ahead and forget how to walk. Or maybe riding a bike. See, muscle memory is so deeply ingrained in us that we can't forget how to do things that we've already learned how to do. And the disc golf throw is so complicated, has so many things working at once, that trying to just forget all of it isn't, isn't gonna work out. So throw everything away and restart from scratch. For most people, restarting from scratch means going back to a standstill. Standstills are great for if you're in trouble, but going back to a standstill means you're taking your weight shift out of the equation and you're also not really working on timing that much. This also means people are going to dump their high speed drivers and throw only mid ranges or only like seven speeds or something like that. Problem with this is when you get to a hole that you used to be able to reach and now you're throwing a seven speed, you're just gonna end up throwing that seven speed as hard as you can more often. And that, that's not gonna do anything good for your form. So rebuilding form does nothing. Fixing form takes time. It's a continuous process. Unless you're planning on disc golf for your livelihood, you should just about always be working on your form. So for fixing your form, step one is take a video. You wanna take a video of your throw and either look at it yourself or send it to somebody who knows what they're talking about, who knows what they're talking about. Who knows what they're talking about. Make sure your feet are staying sideways and you're getting a good weight shift. If you're not, focus on that one thing. Don't get overwhelmed by all the different things you have to change. Don't try and, and fix your reach back and your timing of everything while you're focusing on your feet. Just focus on your feet and do your feet correctly. After you've, you've fixed your feet, take another video. Look at your reach back. Is your reach back good? Is it nice and wide? Is it nice away from your body? Is it timed well? If it's not, focus on your reach back because by now your feet should be muscle memory. Your feet should be just what your body naturally does when it goes to throw a frisbee as opposed to whatever sort of convulsions were happening before. <laughs> the trick here is repetition. Whatever you're focusing on, you wanna to go to a field and throw so many times. You wanna throw over and over and over again until you cannot forget how to throw like this and you can't even try and throw like you used to. So that's how to fix your form. How do you fix your disc selection? Rather than dumping all your high speed discs and going down to a seven speed, just throw one speed slower on every hole. So if I can reach a hole with a distance driver, next time I get up there, I'm gonna try throwing a fairway driver at it. If I can reach it with a fairway, I'm gonna throw a mid-range. And if I can reach it with a mid-range, I'm gonna throw a putter. Doing this over and over and over again on every hole will eventually get you more and more power. There are holes that I didn't even dream of reaching with a distance driver that I can throw a mid-range at no problem now. So fixing form takes time, both actually fixing your form and disc selection. If you take time and, and you slow down and you focus on one thing at a time, you will improve it. That's how to add distance to your game. So as far as an announcement about my channel, I'm only going to be doing three videos a month here over the winter or for, for now. One will be my typical form instructional videos like this is right here. The other will be a course walkthrough. It might be a casual round, it might be round coverage of a mini or something like that, but I just wanna show you guys the courses that I play here. There's some great courses, some not so great courses, and I just wanna sort of walk you through in about a 10 minute walkthrough. And the other kind of video will be sort of a wild card. It might be a disc review like I did last week, it might be a bag review, it might be just a goofy video I wanted to put together. Who knows, it's kind of a, it's kind of up in the air right now. I, I, wanna, I wanna give myself that freedom to, to not have to do an instructional video every week. So that's the update on my channel. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check out Facebook if you're on YouTube and check out YouTube if you're on Facebook. And until next time, remember slow is smooth and smooth is far.